Wait, do, do, you can't go. You, you can't leave here. I want to know where my husband is. Please. Oh, man, we're getting somewhere. Oh, my God. It's you. I could say the same thing to you. You know something? I've had it with all of this island royal rig. I want to know who you think you are and what the hell you want with my husband and me. Uncuff her. Are you sure? I'll take full responsibility for our guest. Don't you mean prisoner? Then I'd like you to wait outside. Under no circumstances are we to be disturbed. I'm still waiting for some answers. You haven't told me why I'm here, and I want to know where my husband is. Why don't you drop the act? Stop pretending you don't know who I am. But I do know who you are. Your picture's in all the papers. You're San Cristobal's answer to Cinderella, aren't you? The devoted but humble assistant who's set to marry King... What's his name? His name is Richard. You know that perfectly well. And he's not a king. He's a prince. Okay, king, prince, duke of Earl, whatever. You snagged yourself the head honcho of this island. I think you'd be happy about that. You Why do you keep acting like this? Well, you think I'm upset? Well, maybe it's because I was dragged off the, off the street in handcuffs and treated like some common criminal. That's not what I meant, and you know it. Well, then what did you mean? Now tell me, why are you doing this to me? I want to know why you're doing this to and me. And I want to know why you came back after all these years. After all the pain you've caused. Did you think we'd forget? Did you think we'd forgive you? Because if you did, you made a grave mistake. A very grave mistake. Why was my coming back a grave mistake? As if you didn't know. You know, you're truly amazing. You're still as arrogant and defiant now as you were then. Am I? You say that as if you still refuse to admit it. Well, what difference would it make? Your mind's made up. You know, I don't know what scam you're trying to pull. But it's quite obvious to me why you're here. Okay. All right, we'll stop playing games and we'll get right down to it. We both know why I'm here. I still can't believe you came back. You know I had to. Why? What did you think was going to happen? What did you hope to gain? I thought it was for the best. That's insane. You haven't let me finish. I thought it was for the best, considering what happened the last time I was here. I thought maybe we could talk about it. Now you want to talk to me. You pretended to not even know me in the hotel. I know. I, I'm sorry. You're sorry? What is the matter with you? I was upset, okay? Maybe I, I shouldn't have come back the way I did. You could have at least warned me you were coming back instead of sneaking into the country. You hurt so many people the last time. Who? Who did I hurt? Please, tell me who I hurt. My God, you really don't remember this this has all been a bluff no no that's not true no it is true you really don't remember what happened well maybe i do and and maybe i don't but i'll tell you one thing you can't keep me a prisoner here you are on san cristobal now you live by our rules or have you forgotten that as well wait wait please where are you going just please tell me what i'm doing here why you're keeping me here Maybe now you'll know how it feels. I have to find out if she's faking and soon before he gets back. This should do the trick. Hello? Uh, uh, good evening. I'm doing a uh, survey for the Springfield school system. Is this the home of Reva Shane Lewis? Yes. This is her sister. You are? Yeah, and I'm sorry, but I don't mean to be rude. But Reva and her husband aren't here. Uh, maybe you can call her back in a few weeks, okay? No, there isn't time. I, um, 
The, the results of the survey are, are due tomorrow, and Ms. Lewis promised that she would do her part for the school district. Would, would you help me finish the survey for her? Sure. What's up? How long have they lived in Springfield? I... since the mid-80s. And have they been full-time residents? For the most part, yes. What do you mean? Oh, uh, well, they, the kids lived in uh, Italy for a few years. Oh, so they lived abroad? Just Mr. Lewis and the children. What about Mrs. Lewis? Well, that's a long story, and it's really none of your business. Oh, I'm sorry. Perhaps my curiosity got the best of me. You're right. It is none of my business. Just trying to do my job, you know? But what is the big deal, really? I mean, was she missing or something? Yeah. Who is this? Thank you. You've been a big help. Cassie, what's up? What's the matter? There's this woman doing a school survey when she was only asking questions about Reba. What the hell's going on? Look, let's just tip that uh, callback feature. Was it still okay? Let's we'll see what she has to say. <gasps> hmm. It's an automated message. The call was made outside our local area. Let's call the operator and see if she can trace the call. Yeah, hi, operator. Uh, I was just talking to a friend of mine, and we got disconnected. I was wondering if you could tell me um, where he was. Sure, I can, I'll hold. It was a local survey. How come it wasn't a local call? Good question. You know, Sir, I think I know what I have to do. Hi. <laughs> I'm so glad you're back. Really? Yes, because this time I'm going to talk, and you're going to listen. There are a few things that I'd like you to do for me, for old times' sake. Hmm. You know, you can drop the act. I know you don't remember me or what happened. What made you change your mind? Well, I checked it out. You really are Reva Lewis. Well, that's what I've been trying to tell you and everyone else on this island, but nobody wanted to believe me. You thought I was someone else. I went along with it, hoping that maybe it might lead me somewhere. No, I understand. There's no need for that now, though. <clears throat> uh, would you would you like something to drink or eat? I've been a terrible hostess. Well, actually, there is something you can get me. <laughs> a meeting with this prince, this uh, Richard guy. <gasps> you can't be serious. Why not? I mean... Anyone who can write a letter, a love letter, as beautiful as this one, has got to be kind and understanding. Uh, no, uh, seeing Richard is out of the question. Why? Why is that? Are you afraid your royal fiancé is going to be upset by the way you've treated your tourists? No, no. You just, you don't understand. No, I think I've been talking to the wrong person. That's the problem here. So why don't you bring Richard in here so he can make nice to me, or else my husband and I are going to be the last tourists this island ever see. You will not see the prince. Not now. Not ever. Why? You think he's going to call off your wedding because of what you've done? If Richard finds out you're here, he will kill you. 